What's up, Cultivators? We are here for another episode with a small business right before they make it big. I'm here with... Me, Tiffany B. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? So far, so good. So I want to start with your journey. Where did it all begin? How did you get into your career and what is it that you do? Uh, that's a good question. Um, my journey into being a creative director and tech designer all started really with COVID. Um, I was spending a lot of time just in my head, just thinking about what I saw for my life. And I knew that I had a lot of different types of talents that were um, more centered around like using my imagination and then turning that into a reality. So a lot of what I do really starts with like a vision that I see in my head or repeated colors or repeated sounds or repeated um, words that I hear. And I like turn that into a concept, come up with an idea and then I turn it into something. Um, but actually acting upon it and taking it seriously, it's been a little over a year. I started March of 2023. Um, and it was just like a consistent every month having a project, like directing a photo shoot, directing a music video. Um, my most recent project was doing the set design for a fashion show. We've had a couple of cool things coming up soon this year, too. That is super epic. Yeah. So what project really represents your brand the best? What big project really hit the hit the hit it on the nail? Mm, there's a couple, I would say. Um, I'm mostly known for the set design I did for the fashion show at Sandman Studio. Um, and I think that mostly represents how I want to engage in business moving forward. But I think the shoot that I did or the project that I did that most represents how I want to encapsulate my entire career would be um, this photo shoot that I did with this local artist. Her name is Liv. Um, I was inspired by a Berlin painter. Uh, I actually had a great conversation with her about using her art. Yeah, she's she's really blowing up. Um, but we took the concept from the painting and turned it into something that resonated more with Liv, her brand and her album that she was releasing. Um, and so I designed everything from top to bottom. Like I designed the dress that she was going to wear. I designed her hairstyle. I designed everything like the set. We built a custom set for that. So it was me like having my hands in all these different pots, while also bringing in a multitude of people uh, to get their perspective and have their creative flair added onto it. Uh, it was a really nice production and I had a great time. That's amazing. That. So break it down for me. What is it that you all do? Because it sounds like you could do it all. Yeah. So I mostly do. Uh, I call myself like a multidisciplinary artist for sure. But I mostly do creative production um, and that can like span over a different a multitude of things, you know. So I mostly work in the market of uh, music videos, short films and conceptual photography. But I've added a new feature to my business, which is set design, because they still all go together. Um, so I do set designs for fashion shows, for events. But my dream would be to do it for concerts. So I love to that be in the entertainment and the music industry, for sure. That is epic. Yeah. So not that there's many people in your field, because you're hitting a whole bunch at the yeah. same time. But what makes you stand out yeah. in what you do? I think what makes me stand out is, um, like you said, being able to do a lot of different things. I have never been one to like stick to one distinct path. And because of that, like I have skill sets in a lot of different areas that you don't think would matter in the long term, but different things like having skills in like finance or having skills in design or having skills in fashion and styling and set design. Um, they all come together when you have a business that requires you to do multiple different things. and. One thing that I always pitch to my clients is all you have to do is show up and I take care of everything. Like you show up, be cute, be handsome, you know, put your A game on and know that from makeup, hair, what you're going to eat, how we're going to take care of the team will all be taken care of by me. I think that's what my, my biggest standout feature is. That's amazing. Yeah. So if you could put your brand into five words, what would it be? Oh, I'm a yapper. So that's hard. <laughs> five words. Um, I would say structured, um, let's say structured. The first word that comes to mind is sparkly, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to me, sparkly just means like, you know, when Mario like eats the magic star or whatever, yeah, it's like, dick, dick, dick. that's how yeah. I feel like my business is. That's how I am. Um, so I would say sparkly, like when you go, it's high energy. It's 
it's fun. Everyone is like in a harmonious state. Um, structure, I said structured already. Uh, five words, it's hard. I would say... Structure, sparkly. Yeah. Um, a flow. Yeah, I would say it flows. I think I also, it's really based around community. It's inclusive. Like I said, I like to get everyone's opinion. I don't believe in like, my way is the highway type of direction. I think everyone brings a unique perspective. That true um, community advocacy. Exactly, exactly. So that's three, two more. <laughs> All right, let me let me think of something. Um, I would say impactful. And I would say intentional. Wow. So how long have you been on this journey? I have been, I mean, my whole life, really. I think everything that I've experienced in my life has led me to this point without me even realizing it. But like I said, intentionally, a year and a half now. Wow. Shout out yeah. to that. A year and a half. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. What's been the biggest challenge so far? The biggest challenge would be to prepare for things mm-hmm. to not go as planned. Um, there's only so much preparation you can do. But the biggest challenge I've experienced is like learning to release um, that need of perfection. Like I'm a perfectionist to the core, but this business forces you to realize that it's not going to be perfect. And the second you like make room for kind of chaos to happen, I think that's where the beauty of creation comes from because you use what was given to you in that moment to persevere and create something new. That is epic. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. So who's your target audience? Who's the people that you're trying to connect to? Who needs to tap in? Come yeah. on, cultivators, tap All right, in. Let me tell you, who needs to tap in with me is artists. And artists spans over a whole bunch of people, like most specifically musicians, but um, chefs, you know what I'm saying? People who have podcasts and like want to design their studio, um, really just anyone who has a creative lifestyle, people who love fashion, people who love art, people who love music, um, and who make that their everyday life. And celebrities. I don't care about those. Shout out to that. Yeah. So do you have different package options that they could tap into? Yeah. What yeah. does it look like as a customer? So it depends on um, what exactly you're needing. Um, like on the creative production side of things, let's say it's for um, a music video. I have my lowest level um, package would be you just pay me for my idea. Like you say, hey, I have a music video. This is the song. What ideas, what do you see? I can draft up the storyboard for you, send it over, and then you and your videographer and your team of people can execute it. That's my lowest package. You just pay me for my idea. The next step up would be me. I, once again, give you the idea as well. Um, and then I also have uh, my videographer and maybe like two or three stage hands to help. It's like a lower budget music video, maybe on like the content creation side, like reels more than like a full blown music video production. And the next step up, it just gets bigger from there. Like we can, I can have my entire team and you just sit back and let me do my thing. That. And what role do you play in that community, in the artistry? Yeah. Um, what role do I play in the artistry community? I would say the connector. I do my best to really connect people together. If it's something that I can't do or something I don't have the capacity for, I have no issue with. You know, throwing the lob over to someone that I think is really um, good at their job as well. So I would say the connector. And I think I also I am really known for like breaking the mold and things and doing things in an unconventional way. So I feel like I serve as an inspiration in the community to do things in a way that maybe the status quo says is not what we're supposed to do. You know, encourage people to just be their crazy multifaceted self and, and dream as big as they can. Shout out to that. Yeah. Hell yeah. So it is 2024. It's 2024. I'm sure there's a whole bunch of stuff that's coming up. Yeah. Is there anything that people should keep an eye out for? Yeah. Or you have any plans coming up? Yeah. Um, I would say to keep your eye out for a short film oh. coming the end of this year. Um, I have a couple other things in the music realm as well. Keep your eye out for a couple music videos coming in the next few months. And um, maybe a concert. Maybe we'll have to see. That's amazing. Yeah. So tell me more about your brand. So what is the heart of the brand? What is the mission statement? The mission and the heart of my brand really is to, um, that's a good question, actually. I, I believe the mission of my brand is to be the liaison, be the messenger for 
people who have something to say um, and do it in a way that evokes emotion and inspiration and action through the visual arts. That's absolutely amazing. So there's a whole bunch of people that want to tap in. The cultivators want to know where they can find you. Yeah. Where can they tap in? What's yeah. your socials? Yeah. You guys can find me on Instagram at the Tiffany B. That's T H E T I F F A N Y E underscore. Don't forget the underscore. Um, you can also find my website at TiffanyBproductions.com. Um, or just ask about me in the community. They know who I am. Most definitely. Y'all got to tap in. So here at Community Cultivation Network, we're all about cultivating. Mm hmm. So do you have any message you want to say to our community and your yes. community as well? Yes. I would say to continue to dream big, continue to break those boxes. Don't let anyone put you in a mold that you don't want to be in. This life is literally a living miracle. So do whatever you want to do. Like no one can stop you from doing what you want. Live your dreams. Tell people no. Tell people yes and make it happen. Thank you all for tuning in for another episode of CC Go with the small business right before they make it big. We out. Peace.